Hey, good morning, Valley. So like I said a couple of minutes ago, we are going to have rain later on this afternoon and going into this evening. And it's all thanks to this frontal system that's within central Texas. Now, this front's not going to push all the way south across the Rio Grande Valley. It's going to stay stalled out within central Texas, but it's going to bring a good amount of activity for central and possibly even for us in south Texas. And right now, as we speak, a line of thunderstorms are making its way into San Antonio, but not for us. We are just dry across the Rio Grande Valley. However, that is going to change later on this afternoon. By around 2 to 3 in the afternoon, we could have some isolated showers, maybe a storm or two, but it's not going to be until later on this evening and going into the overnight hours where a little bit more coverage is expected. We could have anywhere from 30 to 40 percent coverage, so not widespread rain is expected, but a little bit better chances as opposed to some other uh, rain chances we had a couple weeks ago. And the Storm Prediction Center does have us under a general thunderstorm threat uh, from right now going into Tuesday morning. So just general thunderstorms are expected, not really a big severe threat. However, we could experience some storms a little bit on the stronger side, but uh, it's very important to stay up to date and possibly even download the Valley Storm Team weather app. It is free and it'll give you the latest updates on uh, what you can expect for the afternoon and going into evening. But other than that, still expect just hot temperatures across Rio Grande Valley. Most of us are going to be in the mid to upper 90s. However, because of the cloud cover and because of the rain, we could have have slightly, slightly cooler temperatures for a short amount of time, but coverage is a little bit scattered from 20 up in the upper valley all the way to 40 in the mid valley and even 30%. Uh, so again, not everyone's going to experience the same amount of rain, but any rain that we do potentially get is going to be very beneficial for us, but it may not be enough for what we actually need to help us out within our drought conditions. However, those rain chances are going to be sticking around as we head into these next couple days, but still we're, ha we're going to have low rain chances from 20, maybe 30, 40 percent. And then as we head toward the end of the work week and going into the weekend, we could even see just dry conditions and with hot temperatures once again. And unfortunately, we're still going to be a little bit muggy. So we have to factor in those feel like temperatures because the feel like temperatures are going to be a little bit hotter than just the mid to upper 90s. And we're going to have mostly clear skies. So perfect weather to go to the beach this weekend. Yeah. But we're several days out. So just make <laughs> no. sure to check back in with CBS4 with yeah. the latest.